Hello again, everyone. I just wanted to talk to you today about my little oxalato here. I have named him Toothless. I know it's very unoriginal, kind of like the dragon, but he looks just like him. He is my juvenile uh, melanistic oxalotl. I haven't had him very long. He's become a very friendly dude, and he is always hungry. Look at that beautiful face. Ugh, I just love him. He's become my new favorite thing. Um, so, his tank, I've kind of been messing around with it. I, uh, seeing what he likes, what he doesn't. Right now, he's just in a 15-gallon, um... Fluval Flex tank. I have open top because it helps keep the water cold and um, the more movement on the surface of the water uh, it helps cool down the water. So I have a bubbler in there that runs along the back to give him lots of oxygen and keep the water moving and I have the regular filter set up there. I'm sorry it is uh, looking a little dirty. Today is my maintenance day. Um, he I try to keep his temperature below 70. I do the best I can. I have um, many reptiles and fish tanks and everything but him needs warmth. So keeping the house cold but keeping all them warm is a bit of a struggle. So if you have the money, I would recommend getting a water chiller. I don't have that. So if I ever have if my spouse ever leaves the heaters on or it cranks too high, I'll just throw in some ice packs here into the back of the system. Um, and it kind of helps cool the water down a little bit. I do have a little fan here. I don't bother running it. It didn't really do anything for me, but they do say if you have a fan blowing on the surface, it will cool the water down. Um, I have a pot. I stick pothos in all my plants just to, just to let them grow. Um, their roots grow in and it does help filter the water as well. I have a couple live plants in here. They were a bit pricey, but oh, I just love how they look. I got them from Big Owls. They are Java ferns, and they are nice and big and bushy, and he just loves to live in them and go through them. Hi, big guy. Um, yeah, he just loves to hang out in them, and they don't mind the cold water. They seem to be very okay. Um, they're not brown. That's just the, the algae. I haven't figured out how to, I mean, you can't really put anything with them. I've tried putting, uh, cloud minnows, white cloud minnows in with him and, uh, a couple other things that endure the cold water and are quick moving. And eventually they just got numb numbed by him. He just swallowed them up. Uh, it took a while, but he did. So I can't really think of putting anything in here that could eat up that algae that he's not going to eat himself. <laughs> this little house in here, he actually, I was worried that it would take up too much space, but he actually loves going in it and around it. I've tried the PVC pipe thing. He doesn't really care for them. He's more of a out front and center kind of dude. Um, but I actually just took this out of my 90 gallon tank because I wanted to switch it up how it looked in there and my Oscar kept knocking it over. So he got it and he loves it. Um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of decoration in here because I mean, he doesn't care, but I always love the look of plants in a tank, so so I did throw those in here, in there, and he doesn't care, uh, or he doesn't eat them, or bug them, or wreck them, or anything like that, and I'm able to break babies off of them and put them in my other tanks, which is, which is amazing. Um, if you want to know how to do that, just let me know. I can uh, always make a video on that. Um, I do love this tank, but uh, it is... It, uh, it works well for him now, but I think I will have to upgrade him as he gets bigger. Yeah, that is my, that's my boy. I love that I don't have to put a heater in here. I mean, that's, that's a plus. I told you my struggles otherwise, but I do have some duckweed in here because I just threw it in all my tanks. That might have been a mistake, but it's not overwhelming in here probably because the water's cold. So, yeah. I probably do water changes twice a week and I scrub the walls and such and uh, try to vacuum the surface of the sand once a week. I feed him, right now I'm feeding him trout worms twice a day. Uh, I think he would prefer if I fed him every hour on the hour, but uh, that would make him a little chunky, so we don't need to do that. I have, uh, I have developed my own worm farm, so I don't ever have to buy them again. It's wonderful and it's my compost system, so... Yeah, getting right into that. 
Any questions, let me know. My name is Danica, and this is my little oxalotl toothless. I love him. He's so cute. <laughs>